back in at it with a brand new Modern Warfare 3 video here guys hope you're enjoying season 2 but in this video is the fastest way to collect bones and skulls in Horde Point. Horde Point is the only game mode that you could play in in multiplayer to collect these bones and skulls for the brand new Horde Hunt event but when collecting bones and skulls in Horde Point guys the bones count as 10 and the skulls count as 1 but the fastest way to collect these bones and skulls in Horde Point guys you're going to want to head into one of these specific maps that I'm going to tell you Horde Point literally has a bunch of maps provided here but there's only about 5 to 6 of them that you're going to want to play to get these bones and skulls the fastest because if you play any other map that's like a big map or anything like that it's going to take you a long time to even get to like the zombie waves and all that stuff and you're not going to get a lot of skulls and bones you're only going to get like a hundred and something but with my process you'll get 500 and something or even more but the best maps to play on to get these skulls and bones the fastest play on real play on departures play on stash house you could play on invasion if you want but i'd say skip invasion you could play on karachi skid row meat and terminal those are the only ones you're going to want to play on. So I'm going to say it once more, guys. Terminal, Meat, Skid Row, Karachi, Stash House, Departures, and Rio. Just go for those ones, guys. No other map. And if you go for those specific maps, you'll get 400 plus bones. And you'll get like 45 plus skulls. But if you do not know how the Horde Point is played out, guys, it's going to give you Pack-A-Punch weapons all the way from level 1 to level 2. So you're going to get level 1 Pack-A-Punch weapons, level 2, and level 3. Level 3 Pack-A-Punch weapons are the strongest, guys. And make sure when you're aiming for the weapons, do not aim for the single fire guns guys aim for all the fully automatics and when you get those fully automatics you have like 200 rounds to spray the zombies and with the higher variation of the pack-a-punch weapon you could kill zombies faster but horde point is hard point guys so the zombies are going to spawn right around the corner of the hard point and you can see it on the map you'll see some little red dots that are going to indicate all the zombies and head to all zombie zones do not even worry about the hard point guys people will worry about the hard point but other people will be killing the zombies within the zone too as well it's going to drop effects guys which is kaboom which is the nuke it's gonna drop ammo mod and it's also gonna drop insta kill always aim for the insta kills guys if you aim for the insta kills you can kill the zombies the fastest and that's the number one way of getting all these bones and skulls the fastest when you kill the armored zombies guys that's when you get the skulls and when you kill the normal zombies guys which are the basic ones that's when you get the bones make sure you utilize when people are killing the zombies guys because they're not gonna know that you're there lay down in a corner spray out the people that are killing zombies and also take everyone's bones and skulls just risk of death for everything some maps a lot of people aren't going to be killing the zombie wave so make sure that you keep track of every single zombie wave because if you do that you'll have like your own lane of killing zombies for a nice timing you can use your normal loadout but if you want to get this the fastest make sure that you pick up all pack a punch weapons but if you are using your loadout make sure you just got like a hundred round plus drum on it there's two more things i forgot to tell you guys when collecting these skulls and bones when you get the kaboom guys in the nuke it's gonna kill all the zombies and it's gonna drop everything that they're supposed to drop so make sure that you you run for all those items when the waves change it'll kill all the zombies in the area too so make sure that you run for those items too as well within the video that i'm going to show you right here guys you're going to see that all the zombies randomly disappeared but it dropped all the items that they're supposed to drop and make sure that you follow my method that i did within the game i only stayed near the zombie zones i sprayed it out and i ran for every single insta kill i didn't see that much armored zombies within this gameplay but you will see me get by the end of the game like 550 bones but like only 25 skulls but right here guys i'll be showing you my process on the fastest way to get these bones and skulls within horde point remember to play those maps that i showed you and also make sure you get all those insta kills and kabooms hope you enjoy this gameplay Done on me. Leave me alone, son. Okay, good. I collected everything too. Let's go. 50, 14, uh, something like. Right. I need this, need this, need this. 
sorry, son. Damn, son. Tossing tactical. Back at it. Oh, I love this. Say you milk it up, bro. Best way to milk it up, bro. We're on the same side. Look it up, 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 None of that, kid. Tactical out! They're messing with the wrong people. What, is this free skulls? What? Oh, free, oh, oh, oh. As you can see within that gameplay, nothing else would be in this process on getting bones and skulls within Horde Point. And one weird thing about this game, guys, when you spray at people and the zombies are near them, it takes your aim assist fully off and your aim gets choppy. So make sure that you're really just sneaky and stealthy when you're killing people because the zombies will just take most of the damage from you. I well, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, on the fastest way to collect bones and skulls in Horde Point. If you follow exactly what I showed you, you should have no problem collecting these bones and skulls the fastest. We'll be breaking down every single thing for Modern Warfare 3 Season 2. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and like this video. Peace.